In this video, I'm going to teach you walk the dog, which is one of the easiest, but also one of the most famous yo-yo tricks that you can do. And I'm also going to teach you a couple of variations that you might not have seen before. So the basic form of walk the dog looks like this. Now, as you can see, conceptually, walk the dog is a pretty simple trick. All you're going to do is throw a powerful sleeper, and because the yo-yo is spinning, when it touches the ground, it starts to move. So you're going to use that motion to perform the trick. Now, when you start to work on this trick, it might not work as well as you'd like, so I'm going to give you a couple of tips to help make the trick work even better. Now, the first thing is, when you start doing walk the dog, the first time that you do it, if you just set the yo-yo right down onto the ground, it's not going to move forward very much. Uh, the reason it's not moving forward is you really need to give it a little bit of momentum so that it can really take off. So what you want to do is when you throw the yo-yo, you're going to want to swing it behind you a little bit and then swing it forward as you touch it to the ground and watch what a difference that makes. Because the yo-yo already has some speed on it, it's able to get ahead of you and then you can walk behind it. Now, the second thing that you want to keep in mind is you don't want to get your yo-yo hand too close to the yo-yo or else the yo-yo will come back. And the reason for that makes sense. The yo-yo is spinning really quickly. And so if you get your hand too close to the yo-yo, that'll put some slack in the string. But since the yo-yo is spinning fast, it wants to eat that slack up so it'll naturally come back. And so you want to make sure that as you do the trick, uh, you don't get your hand too close because that'll happen. You want it to walk out in front of you uh, and lead you, and that way you can keep the same distance from your hand and the yo-yo at all times. That'll keep that from happening. Now, when you want to bring the yo-yo back to your hand, there's two ways to do it. The first way is you could just pull the yo-yo up to bring it back, or you could do what I just showed you. You could intentionally move your hand toward the yo-yo, and you can see that that works just as well. Now, once you've mastered the basics of walk the dog, like I said, there's a couple of variations you can try. The first one, some people call walk the cat. Uh, I guess you could also call it the naughty dog. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take the yo-yo, and instead of holding it the proper way, you're actually going to turn it around so that you're holding it backwards. Now, if your throw is straight, you should still be able to get a decent sleeper, but now the yo-yo will be spinning in the opposite direction. If the yo-yo is spinning in the opposite direction, you can actually swing it the other way and then you have just walked the cat because they don't listen when you walk them. Uh, the second thing that you can do with walk the dog is what's called the creeper, and this is where you're going to walk the dog all the way out in front of you and then pull it back after you've knelt down to the ground. The yo-yo will come back to you sliding along the ground. So that looks like this. Again, that's a pretty straightforward variation as long as you let the yo-yo get far away from you when you kneel down, just give it a little pull, it'll come right back. Once you've mastered the creeper, you can move on to the next variation. We call this walk the dog around the park. This one's a little bit more tricky. Let me show you what it looks like. So for this one, uh, it starts off just like a normal walk the dog where you're going to walk the yo-yo in front of you. But then you're going to have to pull on the string really slightly to change the direction of the yo-yo. Again, if you pull on it too much, the yo-yo will come back. So you're really just nudging the yo-yo back in the opposite direction. And if you kind of gradually accelerate the yo-yo in the opposite direction, you'll be able to get it to move actually in completely the reverse direction. And then once it's all the way behind you, then you can use the spin of the yo-yo and again, pull it in pretty much the same way. That'll get the dog to walk the way that it was in the beginning, and that way you can complete the trick. Now, the last variation we call walk the dog with a twist, and this one we combine uh, walk the dog around the park as well as the creeper, uh, but as you'll see, the trick does end with a twist that looks like this. As you can see with that trick, uh, when the yo-yo gets to the end of the string and it comes back, the string starts to spiral around the side of the yo-yo. The reason that that happens is when you walk the dog around the park, it naturally, the yo-yo naturally changes its orientation. And if you can get it to change its orientation so that it's perfectly perpendicular to you, when you go down to do the creeper, then the string will naturally start to sidewinder around the yo-yo the way that you've seen. 
And you don't actually have to walk the dog all the way around the park. Um, you could just do a normal walk the dog, and if you do it long enough, the yo-yo will naturally turn. And again, same thing. Once it is perpendicular to you, you just kneel down, put your hand to the ground. Sometimes you have to give the yo-yo a little bit of a pull, but you'll see it start to sidewinder until it comes all the way back to your hand. So uh, that is the trick. Walk the dog, that one's pretty straightforward, but some of these variations can be a little bit tricky, but they're also a lot more fun. So that is walk the dog and a couple variations.